Hello, this is Damon Melchior with Extreme Bait Take. Today I'm with Captain Brian Townsend on the Watts Bar Dam, right? Below Watts Bar Dam. Below Chicka Watts Bar Dam. Chickamauga Lake. What he said. <laughs> um, this is a pretty amazing day. Brian is a pro staffer with Extreme Bait Tank, and for the last at least eight months, he has been using a 100 gallon tank on his boat. Tell us a little bit about your ba boat, and then we're going to go into the tank. 24 foot sea arc is my boat size, um, running a 100 gallon tank. So a lot of water, you got a, you've got about a thousand pounds of weight here. And I say our attempt because we, we didn't have any proven results until now. So check this out. This is, uh, this is the skipjack. It's probably 14 inch. You said they go up 17, I think. Yeah, we, when we had some big ones today. We started with some 18 and 20s, yeah. Um, but he had, he, he keeps these skipjack. Well, I'll let you tell him. What, what's been your result? Well, yesterday, like yesterday, I, I went out and caught bait at six in the morning and kept them all day, all night. And we started with, with skipjack this morning, live skipjack. Our, our first fish in the boat was from a skipjack out of the tank that had been in there for over 26 hours. So it was our objective to find the magic formula for skipjack and we're there, we've got it. Now, one of, with the 100 gallon tank, we obviously know the, the more elbow room, the better. And I've always said, I don't think it matters really what the bait, the, you can't give a bait too much room. But when it comes to these big, these bigger baits, I, I think it's needed. However, we do have some smaller tanks with what we consider to be the things that have to go into a tank for a skipjack into a 65 and a 35 that's being tested as we speak. But uh, if you have any interest in skipjack tank, we've got we've got proven result. So now I know I don't want to go back to you, Brian. Um, your history on this lake, well, actually the series of lakes that are around here. Yes. Tell us a little bit about that. I, well, I've been fishing here since '99, fishing skipjack since '99, but never been able to keep them alive until now. You told me there was a process. You called them hook them and hang them. Hook them and hang them. Hook them and use them. So, so I'm sure anyone who uses skipjacks understand what they, that is. They understand, and I've been through every tank. I've had them all. None of them works until now. I've never had one to work until now. Tell us what the hook them and hang them is. You catch your bait where you're fishing, put him on a hook, hang him over the side just to keep him alive. So, so here you are. You've got eight, ten, twelve skipjack in the well that as, you, as you're fishing, you can continue to catch yep. and keep them. Otherwise, what you had to do until now was literally, while you're fishing, set up another hook, rod, and hang them over. Yep, yep. And, well, can, and would they last pretty pretty good like that? They, they would live pretty good, yeah, but you could only hang like four. Well, you know? yeah. I mean, that, that's <laughs> it. Right. And you and you can't transport none, you know, if you, you can't, if there's no bait here, you've got to go catch them somewhere else. Impossible, you know, it's never been done, you know, until now. Where I can go to another lake and catch our bait like I did last night, to start with here we already had bait to start with so what do you what do you think you said you run all kinds of different tanks and, and we're not about putting other people down we're about what we feel is the magic formula for the for, the, for this bait water water size volume the pumps the oxygen the oxygen yeah you, you got to have it that's a must yes and what we say by the oxygen is the venturis that infuse microscopically air into the water and, and we saw it with these and the other thing we did too we darkened the inside we blackened the walls matter of fact it was interesting brian the light that we was using wasn't even bright enough to light up the dark so he had it he actually brightened up the floor a little bit but we're going to get some brighter lights in there so we can see the bait because you it was so dark even in the daylight you couldn't even see the bait right couldn't see it couldn't see it to catch it and, and it's our opinion as hyper as this bait is that darkness when you shut that lid it lights out it, it, it calms them down that's key to calm them down. Yeah, because yeah. otherwise you got you got them beating up on each other and you end up with floater. If anybody has a question about skipjack, um, are you available to take calls, questions? Any, oh yeah, anytime. You know? Yep, anytime. Um, if there's anyone who knows skipjack, it's Brian. And if there's anything we can do to help you, uh, just let us know. That's what we're here for. If you have any questions about extreme bait tank products, prices, or sizes. Visit our website, extremebaittanks.com. Until then, we hope you have an extreme day.